Hello there, my name is Andrew Deer. I'm a Commonwealth Champion and European Bronze Medalist. I'm here with my teammate Dam Damon Sampson, a World and European Medalist. And today, guys, we're going to have a tutorial about application of the back kick and how you can use it within a combative scenario. Okay. So from here, we've got the different stances. So we've got open and close stance. Today we're going to talk about close stance, that's meaning when we're both the same foot forwards. And then the other side when we're um, open. So I'm going to switch stance and be open stance. Okay, from here, um, your opponent, if they're really um, strong with their back leg attack, I can, and I know that I've got a strong back kick, I can up, um, apply this technique by them drawing the back leg, and me executing a back um, kick to their midriff, scoring me three points. Okay, before that, we'll go on to how to turn and pivot for the application of the back kick. So from here, I'm in this stance, which um, is close stance. Here, I'm on my toes. From there, I rotate round, losing my target, and I bring my knee back up here in this position, all these muscles are fired up now for the back kick. From there, back, there, landing through. Okay. So from there, here, I lose my target, I rotate, pick up, and kick. You may notice I leave my hand down there to re either to receive his attack so it doesn't go on my body, scoring him the, the single point, and me, receive, and me scoring with the three points. So from here, I rotate, turn, kick, land. Okay, so from there, and down. Notice, I lose my target as soon as he moves, as soon as he hit the stimulus is that he's moving his back leg. As he goes to pick up, that's where I lose my target and prepare myself for the back kick. So from here, as he comes, back kick. From here again, back kick. Landing in front. We'll now change sides. So from here, he's coming with the back leg to attack me because he's been playing that way. We're now in open stance. We've been playing like this, playing like this. He then draws a back kick. Boom, I land in front. Okay, notice that after my recovery, it's important to make sure that the kick starts and ends on the floor. So from here, with my stance, bang, land in so I can go again, okay? With the back kick, it's essential that you lose the distance and use the, the right part of your foot to make contact with the pad and making sure that you're at the good distance. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the pads. It's good that we're using either a full body shield to represent the full length of the body. Okay, so from here, we go back to it. So we've got the points are, we lose our target, we're in a good position at the start and at the end of the technique, ensuring that we recover right. So from here again, so I lose my target, I'm lifting and I'm striking. Yep. As your partner comes away, because again, in order to make them come, we either have to fake them, pressure them, put them into a full sense of security so they get gain confidence, so they're thinking, ah, I can score a back leg to the body or back leg high on, on this person. So what I'm going to do is draw the back leg by either pressure, like I said, fake, and he comes, and I lose my target, okay? So as soon as you see, that first stimulus, which is his back leg move, that's when you should lose your target and execute your back kick. So from here, back. Okay, so from here, again, here, back kick. And again, waiting, remember, it's important when we're doing the back kick that I don't move backwards, I hold my ground for the counter and execute the back kick with the full force. Again, we can either use our ankle or the whole side of our foot to ensure there's enough contacts made on my opponent, making sure that I'm scoring the technique. So from here, my partner comes back, and there comes, back kick, and down. And again, here, back, yeah. 
from the other, uh, other, other side, we're here again. And as he comes, remember to move here. If I'm too late, he's here. And he's pushed me, he's kicked me, he's received the back, the body here. And the, the situation's over. So again, we're here, fake, here, back kick, and score. Again, back kick and down. Okay, so now we're gonna move into real scenario where it's on the opponent, again, when you train with your partner. So this is called uh, a body protective or hugu. Okay, so from here, we're in open stance. Your partner's gonna draw the back leg here for that shot. That's what we want them to do in the ideal scenario. So what I can do from that, I can fake to do it. I can pressure, so make him feel like he has to come because he's at the end of the ring, here. Or I can do a variation of both. So I can fake, move, fake, move, short here. Okay, so from there, remember, I need to lose my target. I need to rotate, and I need to be in a good position to execute, at good distance, my back kick. So from here, here, bang, and recover, okay? Because he could come back, so I wanna do something else, perhaps to recover. Okay, so we'll just do it real scenario. Hey, hey! Battle! Battle! Hey, battle! Hey, battle! Hey, battle! And again, so that was, I was not losing my target there, and I was there faking on the spot, but still pressure the distance. This one would be more I am now more pressure on him. Pretty cool. So here, pressure, pressure. Bow. Again, pressure, pressure. So pressure. Pressure. So pressure. Okay, so make sure that you're in a good starting position. Make sure you're in a controlled position and you're executing a swift back kick to the midriff. That was a tutorial on executing efficient back kick. Uh, for more information, you can visit my website, Andrew Deer, my Facebook, my Instagram, on AD Performance Coaching. And also, for more interesting videos, you can go to The Warrior Collective.